Good morning my dear students and welcome to Zenit Tutorials once again. In today's video lesson we will be talking about construction of tangents to a circle. Now there are many ways of constructing a tangent to a circle. Now in this video lesson we will be talking about construction of tangent from a point outside it. So suppose there is a circle with center O and there is a point P outside the circle. Now from this point P we have to draw tangent to it. Okay. So from one single point outside the uh, circle how many tangents can we draw? We can draw two tangents. Okay. So what is the first step? We will join P and O. Okay. So our first step is joining P and O through a straight line. Our second step would be bisecting this line segment OP. So we will draw a perpendicular bisector of the line OP. You all already know how to draw a perpendicular bisector of the line OP. I will teach you again. Take one point, okay, open it and draw the arcs on both sides of the line. From the other point of the line segment with the same measurement cut the previous arc. Okay, so you have got these two arcs. Now you will join these two arcs. So now we join these two cuts. And this is how we drew a perpendicular line bisector of OP. We will name it as point M. Now taking M as the center and MO this line, MO as radius, we draw another circle. Taking M as the center and MO as the radius, okay, MO as the radius, we draw another circle. Okay, now we have drawn one more circle. So, wherever this circle cuts our previous circle, we will name it as Q and R. Okay. Now we join PQ and PR and this will be the required tangents. So now join PQ and PR. Okay. So our both tangents are ready. PQ is also a tangent to to this circle and PR is also a tangent to this circle. Now we will draw it once more and then I will explain you the reason why PQ and PR are the tangents to this circle. So let's draw it once again. So you can see a circle with center O and there is a point P outside it. First step is joining OP. So we have joined O and P. Our second step would be bisecting OP. So we open it such that it is more than 3 fourth. Make an arc here, make an arc here. From point O again, cut these arcs. Okay, now join these two arcs. So this is the required bisector. So if I name it as M. So now we will draw one more circle taking M as the center and MO or PM as the radius because both are equal. Now take this keeping it at M and taking OM as the radius we draw one more circle. Make sure that when you are drawing it, this passes through P, exactly through P. So this is the required circle. Okay. Now this is cutting our circle, our previous circle at two points. We will name them as Q and R. And then we will join PQ and PR. So our PQ and PR are the required tangents. Now dear students I will explain you why PQ is a tangent. 
So if I join this OQ, okay, by a dotted line, so you can see that this triangle, your O P Q, okay, this triangle, this triangle, okay. So you can see that P O is a diameter, and diameter makes an angle of ninety degree on the circle. Okay, so this angle is ninety degree, right? So you can say P Q is perpendicular to O Q. P Q is perpendicular to O Q, and since O Q is the radius of the circle, so a line. See this line that is perpendicular to the radius of the circle is its tangent. So you have drawn a line which is perpendicular to the radius. Therefore, P Q is a tangent. I hope you have understood this construction. So we have completed construct the tangents to a circle from a point outside it. Please watch our next videos to draw tangents to a circle from a point inside the circle or from a point on the circle. All the best. Please give us a thumbs up if you have liked the video and do subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. Thank you and keep on enjoying learning at Zenit Tutorials.